Hey everyone, once bitten here with another battle report. So this is the much anticipated rematch between myself and Lord Inquisitor. We met at the final table of the Southern Assault Tournament 2012. Uh, I won the game and he edged me out and won the tournament. And uh, so this is the night before Brawler Bash 2013. Uh, so it's been about uh, six months since the tournament. And we're we both brought different armies. Uh, I brought my empire. He has his ogres, and we um, we're doing a dawn attack scenario where you don't randomly put units uh, in sections of the table. You have to put at least two in each, but you can still choose. So I was really looking forward to the game. I think he was looking forward to the game, and here we go. So uh, overall, the board looks like that. Starting the right, he's got uh, a couple saber tusks in the corner. Then he's got his uh, Mornfang Cavalry with the Dragonhide Banner and Iron Blaster. Then he's got this, uh, it's kind of a Death Star just because of the characters in there. It's actually only nine bulls. Uh, the unit has a Banner of Swiftness, but he's got his Tyrant, his Slaughter Master, his Bruiser, and a Butcher in there. So they are hard hitting. I want you to look at that banner, by the way. Um, his army, uh, it is so well painted, so many customizations. I mean, look at the Iron Blaster on the right with the billowing smoke coming out of it. Uh, the banner blows me away. I, uh, <laughs> for someone like me who I, uh, I, I won't paint anything on there freehand because I can't do anything. I look at that and I'm like, wow. So if you're going to bring a, a unit like that with that much killiness, uh, and then you go ahead and make it look beautiful as well, it's like insult to injury. So anyway, you can look at the uh, the individual items um, if you want to just pause the video. Uh, next to them, there's unit of iron guts. Uh, looks like there's nine of them in there. There's a saber tusk behind the house. Then there's another iron blaster. So on the left, I've got my handgunners, stank, cannon, master engineer, and um, uh, hell blaster. So again, during deployment, you don't know everywhere where he's going to be. But I actually kind of liked this. Uh, my my steam tank. I'm uh, I'm using a a card that's going to allow me to go first. And so between my steam tank and my cannon. I really expect to get rid of at least one of those iron blasters, if not two of them. Uh, so I'd, I'd really love for my steam tank to take care of one of my cannon and take care of the other one. Uh, I like that the, the hand gunners and the hell blaster are right in front of his iron guts, and they're somewhat far away from the rest of my troops. And so my, my hope is I can, um, you know, get rid of the cannons and get those iron guts whittled down. And then if that's all I have to deal with, uh, if I can get my uh, halberdiers tying up his his uh, Death Star and get my uh, great swords in with his Mornfang and that leaves my uh, Inner Circle Knights to go take care of the depleted Iron Guts or better yet I'd rather get my uh, have them sweep around to the right and just let my infantry take care of the Iron Guts once I've taken care of everything else so anyway that's kind of what I'm thinking for the details of my list you can see my Brawler Bash preview video and here's on the right I know that he has a unit of uh, scouting um, man eaters with poison so uh, not sure where they're going to go, and it's not going to be wonderful wherever they go. And so he put him here. And of all the places to put him, uh, I'm okay with this. Uh, I think if he were going first, that would certainly be problematic. But with me going first, I think it's a fairly easy charge uh, with my Demigriff Knights into those Man Eaters. And I, I think it'll take me a few turns, but I should be able to handle that. And so he's using a card... And by the way, in that house are my halberdiers. He's using a card that allows him to vanguard one core unit. And so he takes his bull unit with, <laughs> with all those characters with the banner of swiftness and vanguards them up. And since I'm going on, since I'm using the card to go first, that means he can probably charge f first turn. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, that is, um, that's rough. Anyway, so we go to Empire turn one. I I uh, pull the, the halberdiers out of the house, kind of hoping that would force him to charge them, although he probably can swing around to hit the great swords. Um, which, um, the only the good thing about the great swords is it has my arch elector with the Van Horseman Speculum in there. And um, with that, I think he can tie up a character at a time. Uh, but either way. Uh, here on the left, my Demigriff Knights totally failed me. I, uh, char I charge the man eaters, he does a stand and shoot, I take a wound. And then I failed the charge. And I don't know what I needed, but it was not much. And that just bites. Uh, really, really, really disappointed with the demigriffs there. Uh, otherwise, I'm trying to get my, my uh, captuses up so we can charge one of those iron blasters. Uh, the problem is it's hard to do that and not get charged by the Mornfang. Yeah, just other views. 
Uh, the Outriders open up on the Man Eaters, and I, th I killed, I think, one, so that helps. Every little bit helps. Uh, over here, Steam Tank shoots at his Iron Blaster. I hit it, and then I roll a one to wound. My, uh, my cannon shoots, and I roll a misfire, and I can't shoot this turn or next turn. So that really sucks because <laughs> uh, that just really sucks. So now two Iron Blast Iron Blasters are so freaking accurate. Cannons are accurate anyway, but Iron Blasters with being able to reroll the bounce roll are so accurate. Uh, probably just going to lose my steam tank and all my war machines because of that epic fail. And using the card to allow you to go first was totally wasted. So Ogre's turn one. He, uh, he pulled a good move, one that I, I've done a lot with my breaths, but he does a crisscross charge. He takes his bulls uh, around my halberdiers into my greatswords, and then this Mornfang uh, crisscrossing to go to my halberdiers. And luckily, the Mornfang failed. So, I mean, that's huge, because the Mornfang would just eat up halberdiers. I've, I've, I've been there before. They kill a ton. It'd take maybe three rounds of combat to kill them all there, kill everyone. And uh, I just really can't get past their armor save. The, uh, the bulls come to my greatswords. I don't know who's going to win that eventually, uh, but it's going to it's going to deplete my unit certainly. At best case scenarios, I win, but it's depleted. If you look on the right, my Captusus is fleeing the uh, the Mornfang. I think charged the Captusus first, and I fled, and then they they countered into my Halberdiers. I think. So there is that. I don't like my BSB being vulnerable. Um, yeah, and then. I um I was unclear on the rules about moving and challenges, so my general's out of the cha out of the combat. I didn't move him into it, and then I issued a challenge and blah blah blah. He let me go back and put him into combat first, and then issue the challenge, which was uh, just helpful for me. Uh, his man eaters charged my demigriffs. I um I was a little bit surprised, uh, and I he he can leave a comment in terms of like what he was thinking, what his plan was. Um, I, I my fear was he would just shoot at the outriders and force panic tests and. Uh, and then maybe move a saber tusk up so that I couldn't charge him very easily. Anyway, looks like that. And after combat, yeah, he puts another couple wounds on demigriffs. Uh, I do some wounds on him. For the most part, I'm, I'm, uh, well, I don't know. I'm confident about this, but sometimes I just, I think I just have faith in demigriffs. So we'll see how that one turns out. Uh, these guys come in here. Um, so I issue a challenge he accepts with his champion. And then, uh, you know, my, my arch lector with, with the speculum kills the champion. Uh, he does a bunch of wounds to me, but I think I start with 36 or two characters, 38. So I lost nine models. Uh, probably could have been a lot worse. Of course, the problem in the long-term battle here is that uh, I strike last. So um, you notice I didn't do uh, many wounds to him. I think he lost one wound earlier to something else. Uh, lost a model. Um, yeah, the... The problem here is I have to attack characters, and his characters just have, um, you know, have a lot of protection. The good news is I actually did a fair number of wounds to the characters. So, anyway, there's where that's at. We go to Empire turn two. Uh, I really I can't counter charge with the halberdiers because I can't see them. So basically, you can see what I'm doing there. The Pecatusis rallies. Um, I could have charged his Iron Guts with my uh, Inner Circle Knights, but you know what? Best case scenario is I kill a couple of them, and then his Strength 7 attacks, because they're a great weapon. You know, they're just, or Strength 6, whatever strength they are, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, they would just chew up my Knights, so uh, hoping to um, shoot them up and then uh, have my Halberdiers there to uh, just tie them up for a while. So there's the Saber Tusks. Um, I think here, yeah, I'm just going to use my Outriders to shoot them. Uh, try, I got my wizard back as far as possible away from his butcher because he has a hell heart. But really, I, I'm, I think I couldn't get away far enough. I think all he has to roll is like a, a three or a four, and I'm going to get hit by the hell heart. So with shooting, I killed a saber tusk. I, uh, I got hit by the hell heart, and I forgot what happened. I didn't die, but uh, I didn't have much of a magic phase. Uh, in combat, look at the man eaters. There's hardly any of them left. My demigriffs obviously really went to town. Um, I'm sitting on two wounds left. I uh, couldn't chase him down, but it doesn't matter because no, no matter if he rallies or not, I'm going to, you know, going to get those points fairly easily. And then over here, you notice I'm, I'm missing another nine models very consistently. Uh, the good news is this time around I got into combat with his tyrant, 
and killed him. Just, uh, I don't, I'm not surprised that I could kill a tyrant in a challenge, but usually it would take a couple rounds of combat. But uh, I got pretty lucky, killed him this turn, and then rank and file targeted his battle standard bearer, and I killed him. Uh, so he's down three characters out of the four, and next time around we're going to get a challenge with his slaughter master, my general, and I might be able to get him out of the game as well. So um, I really can't complain about that. But at the same time, I'm looking at all the models that are left. I count eight bulls. That means I've only killed one bull. I've been tar I've had to target characters this whole time. So he gets all those attacks that get to go first, and I'm thinking it does, the best I can hope for is to kill that slaughter master. Um, for the most part, he's just going to eat the unit. And this, I hate to give advice against my army, but I think what would have been better is for him to refuse these challenges, because my general's a real wimp in combat. He's not going to do much at all, and all he's had to do is, is refuse challenges, and I remove one character from combat, and now I'm not killing his characters, and, you know, his he's uh, still able to just to kill my units. So, um, uh, if... if Lord Inquisitor, if you have a response to that, I'd, I'd be cool to hear it if there's a, a reason why you did or if, or if it's just one of those things where you automatically accept them because that's what I often do as well. Anyway, Ogre's turn two. It looks like you can see it. Uh, I don't know why his Mornfang are hanging back except for I don't think he wants to get charged by my Inner Circle Knights and I think that's a good plan. Uh, and I do have the Banner of Swiftness on them. So anyway, it looks like that. Oh, that's what happened. His his Mornfang cavalry charged my halberdiers, and I I looked at it, and basically, no, almost no matter what I rolled, I wasn't going to go off the board. I was just going to pop, um, pop through my units and stick. So, really, the only fear that I had was whether or not I would um, I would fail a panic test and run off the board with my inner circle knights, and I didn't. And I don't remember the picture, but I'm pretty sure my battle standard bearer is dead by now, so there's no re-roll. So it was risky on my part for that reason, but Mornfang into the face of the halberdiers has just given him the points. Uh, over here, yeah, you'll notice I only have two wounds on my steam tank. The bad luck that I'm having with my shooting, he's having the same thing. His iron blasters are, are shooting at stuff and just having these insanely unlucky rolls. Um, I know during the game that uh, t in two turns in a row, when he rolled his bounce and you get to roll two dice for it, both of them ended up being misfires. And I'd never seen that before, and it happened two turns in a row. So I feel very lucky that my steam tank's still alive, so it gives me another chance to shoot. A saber tusk is in with a cannon, and that's not going to go well. Not for me. Uh, Iron Blaster opens up, takes care of my uh, Hell Blaster, which is not good. I really needed that to shoot up the Iron Guts. And when the Hellblaster dist got destroyed, my Inner Circle Knights uh, failed their panic and ran away from the nearest enemy unit, which was the Saber Tusk, ran all the way through my lines, took dangerous terrain. Now look at the number of dangerous terrain tests I failed. Um, four out of ten. Um, yeah. And obviously, unit of archers failed their panic. Um, I don't love losing as many knights. Uh, I'm actually okay with failing the panic and getting away from that side of the board because those Iron Guts were a bad matchup for me. Had this unit stayed at relatively full strength, I'd be happy to take them on with a Mornfang. Uh, but yeah, not as it is. So the cannon gets destroyed. And over here, uh, I actually felt like I did pretty well. I mean, I don't know. I mean, he, I guess he killed another 10-ish models. Um, those two markers mean that I'm re-rolling to wound and that I have a 5 up board save. So he, he just very consistently is killing about 9 or 10 models every round of combat. Uh, my general put some wounds on the Slaughter Master but has not been able to kill him yet. And for the most part, I'm thinking I probably won't be able to even strike next time. His guy should kill my uh, great swords before then. So Empire turn 3, I bring the... Um, Sustle her cannon in uh, with a charge, just hoping he can't target it because the Slaughter Master's in a challenge, but my impact hit still can hurt the unit. So my hope is I can get rid of a model or two, uh, and that'll save attacks on me, and that could actually save the unit. My Inner Circle Knights rally, my Archers rally, um, my Halberdiers rally. So without a BSB around, I'm actually very, very happy that all that stuff is happening. Uh, this is a picture from Lord Inquisitor's side of the table. This was fantastic. So my, my hand gunners open up on his iron guts, just because why not? I almost didn't roll it because I think hand gunners are just awful. Anyway, they go to town. 
I think there were already some wounds on there, so I, I basically took the last wound off one model, killed another model, and so it forced a panic test, and they failed it, which was absolutely huge. First off, if he doesn't rally, I've got a captain set up that can charge them right off the table. If they do rally, if nothing else, I just slowed him down uh, a good turn or two to get staying out of the game, uh, which I'm telling you, my my handgunners got elevated. I quit ripping on them at that point, saying, okay, they, they did pretty well. So after combat, yeah, the... The Hurricane did exactly what I needed it to do. It came in, it did some wounds, it, it uh, made his attacks on me less, and I look at my models, I, I lost very, very few great swords. And so he just rolled like crap too. Uh, the problem is my general still wasn't able to to, uh, to kill the Slaughter Master. And of course at this point we're already in challenge and he couldn't refuse challenge anyway, but whatever. Uh, his his uh, Mornfang are barely able to get around his unit and uh, into the combat, so that's not going to go well. He lines up an iron blaster to shoot my peg, my uh, captasis in the face, which is kind of funny. Uh, his his iron guts rally, which is really a bummer. And let's see, I took my my master engineer and just kind of moved him to where the uh, where the saber tusks couldn't see him, and so he just pulls him around to charge the rear of my hand gunners. So overall, it looks like that. He shoots my captasis and totally fails. Um, again, kind of funny. It's like, how can you miss with the Iron Blaster? But he did. And that is not going to go well for the Empire. So, after combat, yeah, the unit got destroyed and ran down. Um, I don't think it was destroyed. I think I think the I think the Born Fang base, basically my great swords got killed to a man. I still had my general. He broke from combat. Um, got caught by the the uh, Slaughter Master and the two remaining bulls, and they overran into my level four. So uh, on my turn, I'm going to get to charge with the Inner Circle Knights, and so I have a chance, and my hope is that he just doesn't kill my level four. The fact that I have a four up ward really helps. Oh, my Hurricane failed its panic, so it's where you can see it. Empire turn four. My Hurricane does not rally, but it's still on the table. My Inner Circle Knights charge, my Pack Captasis charges, and the Heartbreaker... Well, my my handgunners turn around, and this is the heartbreaker. Three D, I uh, put all three steam points into charging the Morn Fang, and I failed by an inch. Oh, that just killed me. It just hurts so bad. Cause one, um, doing D six plus three D three impact hits, very likely could have killed one of these guys. Very likely he's not gonna do many wounds to me, and I could have broken him, and I wouldn't have ran him down, but. Um, you never know what's going to happen if they break from combat. As it is, they're full strength, and they're going to charge my steam tank next turn. There's that charge. There's that charge. When I've done this before, it hasn't worked well, but at this point of the game, what else am I going to do? And after combat, he does two wounds to my wizard, but the level four, uh, the uh, four, four up board pays off. My knights, I want you to know that he didn't do any wounds to my knights in combat. Every freaking wound was caused by failing a dangerous terrain test. Yeah, I'm going to let that sink in for a second. You notice my warrior priest is dead. He failed two dangerous terrain tests. And there's the Captasis. Charges the Iron Blaster, beats it in combat, runs it down. He just got his points back. Way to go, Captasis. Ogre turn four. Double charges my steam tank. I'm not worried about the Mornfang nearly as much as I'm worried about those iron guts. And I, I want to say they were strength 7. I just don't know how they're strength 7. Um, and so maybe I don't know the rules and maybe my memory is foggy from the game. Uh, I just remember f thinking that they they had a better chance. Yeah, whatever it was. Th th I was worried about them hurting the, the steam tank because they're such high, high strength. Let's say they're strength 6 or booting on 4s. And that's going to be a three mod to my armor save. So I'm a four up armor. They're going to chew through that steam tank. His uh, saber test charges my hand gunners. His iron blaster shoots at my captasis. And this is the second turn in a row that he rolled two misfires for his bounce. Absolutely crazy, insane, bad luck. Um, these guys come in, and I believe that my steam tank is down to like two wounds or something. Just <laughs> they just hit it hard. Ugh. Uh, Sabertusk beats the uh, handgunners in combat, but doesn't run them down, which is um, unusual. So in my turn, this is it. This could be the coup de grace. I charge the halberdiers 
into the Iron Guts. There's only two wounds left on the Steam Tank, so even if he gets those wounds, that's only two wounds, and he doesn't have many attacks going against the Halberdiers. Um, so if he kills the Steam Tank, all he'll have is a banner and two wounds. He won't have a flank or anything like that, because he'll be out of the Steam Tank won't be in combat. I'll have a charge, a banner, and three ranks uh, against that. So I'm up by three. He only has six attacks that can go into me, and I've got some attacks that go into him. It's not guaranteed, but he won't be steadfast, and this is my chance. If it's going to work, it's going to be now. Uh, there we go. There's the uh, the Capsus tries to charge the other Iron Blaster to see if if he can kill two in one game. He just you know he'd get elevated to Lord level status or something, and he fails his charge. <laughs> Dang gummit. And this is Ogre's turn five. Oh, and the reason I've, I have my knights like that is I was thinking that the um, the Mornfang might break from combat and flee. And if they fled on the other side of my knights, I want to be able to uh, to charge them. But really, for the most part, I'm not worried about anything on this side of the table because I know we can't get there. I've got my Hurricana, my Demigriff knights, my, my Outriders, and my knights. And for the most part, I know I'm just going to save points with those units because they can't really do anything to what he has on the left side of the table. And it's so late in the game. They're not going to get to combat anyway. But you can see the Halberdiers came in, and just, I didn't wound them. I didn't do enough wounds to them, and uh, I don't even know if I won or not, but everybody's stuck, and that's going to be bad. The only thing I have going for me is I'll be steadfast, but I'm steadfast on a 7 and no reroll. Uh, now, the other thing is he only did one wound to my steam tank, so that was kind of funny. So this is a picture of it from Lord Inquisitor's side. I think this was the, the turn before. Uh, either way, I thought it was a good picture. Uh, so over here, uh, I rallied on my turn. He charged a Saber Tusk in on his turn, and my hand gunners were able to kill it. And so then I just reformed him. Uh, Empire turn six. My Halberdiers... Um, let's see, my Halberdiers rally. They broke from combat, and then on my turn they rallied. Uh, but he still wasn't able to kill the Steam Tank. And he tried to shoot again... At, no, wait, there's that. Yeah. All looks confused. In turn, turn, turn six, I rally. Um, amazingly enough, I'm getting those grinding attacks against the Iron Guts uh, and killing some, but he's winning combat, but he can't seem to get the last wound off of me, which is just funny, because he did like like uh, six wounds on one turn, and now he can't get the final two off. And Empire turn six, he finally does. Uh, he shoots at my Captasis and kills it, and that's the end of the game. So we added up the points, and you know he's got his his Iron Guts, Mord Fang, and an Iron Blaster. That's it. I've got hand, hand gunners, halberdiers, my level four, my Hurricanum, my Outriders, my Demigriffs, my Inner Circle Knights. I'm ahead by about 300 points. I mean, it's really close, something like that. And then uh, he remembered that he pointed out that we were playing a scenario where you got a thousand victory points if you had a uh, unit near the, the center of the board, which he killed my steam tank on his turn. So on, on my turn, so on his last turn, he just took his Mornfang and did a swift reform, put him on the center of the board, grabbed a thousand victory points and the victory by 700. I couldn't believe it. He did it again. Last time I won the game, he stole the, the tournament. This time he stole the game. So, um, He's the reigning title holder. We will have to play again in the near future. That's the game. Hope you enjoyed it.